Right, bit of a different video here today, but I want to go over how to get um, more stuff done faster. And if you're in a business, if you're going to do anything in life, go far in life, um, here's what I found to be the best way to do so. Now, it's going to be kind of a boring video, but hopefully um, it's insightful. And uh, yeah, that's just what this channel is all about, like providing you with ins insightful, insightful stuff, not memes and all that. But yeah, this how you get more stuff done faster. And um, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I've tried to do every single thing, right? Being uh, hyper productive, doing like 20 minutes focus, five minutes without focus, uh, putting my phone down, like doing all these crazy uh, productivity type tasks that all these people talk about, like do this, this, and this to be hyper productive, right? None of that really works. I mean, I guess it works for some people, but it doesn't work for me. And um, the way I found to do it is pretty simple, right? Look at this graph, right? Uh, I'm sure we all know this, right? When you have, when you, when you were in school or university or even at your job, right? When the deadline is by the end of the week, you have to get it done by the end of the week. Otherwise, either you fail the class if you're in university or your boss, um, I don't know, fires you if you're at work, right? And um, how do you apply this when you work alone, right? Because when you work alone, you only have yourself to put pressure on yourself, right? And it's hard because humans, the natural tendency is to um, lay back and don't do any work, right? It's hard. It's hard at times, right? And uh, how, do you, how do you hold yourself accountable, right? It, the way I found and how you, I do it uh, is through this, right? Again, same graph. If the time until the deadline, so if you have to do a task, whatever it is, right? Uh, record this YouTube video, whatever. Um, I, for example, and I'll give you this for example, I want to commit myself to record a video a week, right? And today is Friday, right? So I left it till the end of the week, right? Till the very last minute. It's Friday, it's 7 p.m. At, on a Friday, right? I left it to the exact last minute. Because, why? Because I gave myself a week. So because I gave myself seven days, I record this on the seventh day. Now, this is not said that, I, that sometimes I don't record this on Monday or Tuesday or Thursday, right? But most times it will tend to me, if this like is a curve, it will tend to me recording the majority of videos on the last day, right? And this applies to any task, whether you got to file taxes, whether you got to message these people, handle support, uh, if you're working on your own company, shipping a feature, uh, doing marketing stunts, whatever it is, right? This applies to anything, both in life and business. Um, this is a channel about business, so that's why I'm speaking about this. Now, again, looking at the graph, your productivity will be much higher if your time until the deadline is the smallest you can be, right? So if it is one hour, if you give yourself one hour to do X, you're going to do it in an hour. Otherwise, something bad happens, right? Otherwise, you'll get fired. Otherwise, uh, you fail the class, whatever, right? Uh, for example, you have to catch a train. You will have to catch a train. Otherwise, you'll lose the train, right? If you give yourself a week or a month, your productivity will lower so much, right? The graph it goes like this for, for a reason, right? Because again, you're postponing the task over and over again. So how do I actually apply this to the companies I'm building? We have a board of tasks, right? Tasks that need to be done, tasks that are currently being done, and tasks that are done, right? And we have all these cards, right, of stuff that needs to be done, stuff that's currently being done, right? And stuff that has been done already, right? And I give myself, each card has days, right? Seven days till the end of the week. Most of these are weekly, right? There's no monthly cards, right? There's no monthly cards, right? This doesn't exist. It's either week or day. We don't actually do hour because it's harder to keep track, but we either do week or day, right? So I know that I have to pass these cards that are here from being done or from being worked on to done in a week's time or a day's time, right? I have, don't have any other option, right? So I give myself bursts of tasks I have to do every seven or every every couple of days, right? And this is how I get so much more stuff done faster because I don't I don't dwell on these tasks, right? I don't I don't postpone them. I don't I don't sit here and say, okay, I got all these things in my to do list I have to do, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them done one by one, right? Uh, this is how most people work there, right? Right? So they have a to do list and they go and check this off as they finished. But the issue with this is that none of these have urgency, right? You got to create urgency in your life to get stuff done. Otherwise, you won't get anything done. And this is how I've been doing stuff, right? You got to create this sense of urgency. And if you work alone, it's much harder than, of course, if you work for someone else, because if you work for someone else, you have someone above you telling you, listen, you got to do this stuff. Otherwise, you're fired or otherwise, I mean, yeah, there's no other choice. But if you work by yourself, this is the way I found to get some stuff done faster. And even if you work a job and you want to start a business on the side, don't commit the mistake of doing a to-do list, right? Because 
to-do lists are the standard, but um, juice up your to-do lists with steroids and make it have deadlines, right? Make it have days or week, weeks be the maximum. Don't do months. And it's not just so much about the time you put in. It's about just putting in the time, right? So don't just have a standard to-do list. Even if you've got tasks that you think takes months, put here the month, right? That being said, I do recommend that if you have tasks that take up months, break them down into multiple tasks that take weeks, right? Again, that's how you get stuff done with time urgency, right? Because again, if you, there's if there's a lot of time until a deadline, right? If there's months, weeks until a, until a deadline, you're gonna wait to the last minute, or maybe you're not gonna do it. You're gonna delay all these tasks that you could have done earlier, right? And I, I speak by experience, and I, I speak because I've done this in the past, and not not perfect at this by any means, right? Like I said, it's Friday at night almost, and I'm recording this last video, this video that I want to record every week, that I should give myself two days, only two days, right? Because what happens, if I had recorded this video Monday or Tuesday, I wouldn't be stressing out about the video until Friday. Because by recording it on Friday, I stress about it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? It was 6.30 p.m. just an hour ago, and I was thinking, shit, I gotta come up with some uh, topic for this video. And this is the perfect topic, right? So yeah, hopefully this was insightful. Um, what we use for this is Notion, right? Notion is a great thing. You can organize with cards and all that. If, comment down below if you want to see like our, our board of tasks. I, I can show it to you, but it's quite simple. Don't like overcomplicate things. At first, I was using like just, just the standard to-do list on the Mac, right? You can even write it down. Actually, at first, I was like running it down on, on an actual piece of paper. But just the simple activity of writing the time it will you will take to do it next to the task that just does wonders right so so do that because that works uh so yeah that's that's it that's the video hopefully you like this one um i'll be ideally recording one of these every week like subscribe follow me on twitter because on twitter i post a bunch of stuff i like i post how much money we're making how much money we're losing uh the tactics we're applying to our different businesses so yeah i just i'm a lot more transparent there on exactly what we're doing that's it like subscribe and i'll catch you next week hopefully not on Friday, because I gotta do what I'm preaching here. Uh, so yeah, just rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.